So we are going to solve problem 3.28 from Sadiku book. So this problem is rather unique because the ground is in the center, but it's not a problem. So, uh, so our task is find the voltage at A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. And first I will assume the direction of the current. So uh, for my convenience, I always uh, assume that the direction is to the ground so all the inside resistor will have the current that goes to the ground and for the others I think I can make it goes up I will make all of them goes up and sorry for this this is 16 ohm And this this is a voltage source and this is a the difference between this and this should be 60 volt but the positive one is here so a has to be higher than this point therefore this point is VA minus 60 and for this point it is must be 90 volt higher than VA VA plus 90 so we will have all the nodes set up and we will start by calculating at the node A so we will have KCL at node A So the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. There is no current that goes in here, only goes out. So I will write zero as the current that goes in. Zero. And the current that goes out is here. We can use this this voltage source or this resistors. But this resistor is easier to calculate the current. So we will have VA minus 60 minus VD divided by the value of that resistor so it is 4 plus this current VA minus the voltage of this node it is ground so it is 0 and I don't need to write it so VA divided by the value of the resistors it's 16 plus this one VA plus 90 minus VB and we can divide it by the value of these resistors it's 8 and we can multiply both sides by 16 so I will have 0 is 4 VA minus 240 minus 4 VD plus this one VA plus 2 VA plus 180 minus 2 VB okay and we will have this as 0 and for VA we will have 4 plus 1 plus 2 we will have 7 VA 7 VA and then for VB we only have this value minus 2 VB and then what do we have next VD VD we don't have VC yeah we only have VD so we will have minus 4 VD and then for this one minus 240 plus 180 it is minus 60 so we can rearrange this equation as 7 VA minus 2 VB minus 4 VD is equal to 60 and let's save this as equation number 1 so we need to move on to the another nodes so we will have KCL this is not capital A but lower A we will have KCL at node B we 
you have KCL at node B, at node B, the current that goes in is only this one, the other one is the current that goes out, so we will start by the current that goes in, this voltage minus this voltage, VA plus 90 minus VB divided by 8, equal to the current that goes out this one and that one so I will start by this one it's VB minus 0 it's still VB divided by 8 plus this current here VB minus VC and then divided by the value of this resistor and I will have 4 I can multiply both sides by 8 so I will have VA plus 90 minus VB is equal to VB plus 2 VB minus 2 VC and we can do some algebra here VA is still VA minus VB minus 1 minus 2 it's minus 4 and for VC we will only have this one here so I move to the left hand side plus to VC and for 90 I move to the right hand side I will have minus 90 and we will save this equation as equation number 2 and we run out of space here I will save this this equation and this equation here so this is our first equations VA no 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 not VA 7 VA 7VA minus 2VB minus 4VD is equal to 60 and equation number 2 it is VA minus 4VB plus 2VC that will equal to minus 60 and so we will erase this I will erase this So I have this erased and we can move on to not C. So we'll do KCL at not C. Okay, the current that goes in, there is two current that goes in, this one and this one, and only one current that goes out. So we will start by the current that goes in from here. It is VB minus this value, the this voltage, not value divided by the value of this resistors it 4 and then plus this one it is VD minus VC divided by that value of the resistor it's 10 and then it's equal to the current that goes out only this current is goes out so VC divided by 5 and I can multiply both sides by 20 so I will get 5VB minus 5VC plus 2VD minus 2VC and that will equal to 4VC and I will have only one VB here 5VB and for VC I will have minus 5 minus 2 it's minus 7 and minus 4 so it's minus 11 VC and for VD I only have this one plus 2 VD and that will equal to 0 and let's save this equation as equation number 3 and we move on to the last notes notes D KCL at node D so the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out the only current that goes in is this one the other one is goes out so I will start at this current here so at that current we will have this voltage here VA 
minus 60 and minus VD divided by 4 and then it will equal to this current here VD minus VC divided by 10 and then this current here plus VD minus 0 divided by 20 we can multiply both sides by 20 we will have 5 VA minus what is this 300 minus 5 VD is equal to 2 VD minus 2 VC plus VD and for VA we only have this 5 VA VB we don't have VB here so I will move on to VC only one VC here and we move that one to the left hand side plus 2 VC and then what can we do next the VD okay minus 5 VD minus 2 VD it's minus 7 minus 7 minus 1 it's minus 8 VD and that will equal to 300 and we will save this as equation number 4 so we have 1 2 3 4 equations here so I will rewrite this equation here this is equation number 3 we will have 5VA 5VB sorry 5VB minus 11VC plus 2VD is equal to 0 and then for equation number 4 I will write it here 5VA plus 2VC minus 8VD is equal to 300 I will erase this one and I will write the matrix form of this one so we will have not we will have we have four equations with four variables VA, VB, VC and VD it can be calculated manually but it's convenience to use software so we will have we will use MATLAB for this purpose so and what we need to do to in the MATLAB is calculate the inverse of the matrix here and get the result so the coefficients here is 7 7 and for VB it's minus 2 for VC we don't have VC coefficient here so I will put 0 here and I will have minus 4 as the coefficient of VD now for equation number 2 we will have 1 minus 4 and for VC it's 2 for VD we will have 0 here and for equations number 3 we will have for VA we will not have that coefficient and for VB we will have 5 and for VC we will have minus 11 and this one is 2 for this one we will have 5 and for VB it's 0 for VC is 2 and then the last one is minus 8 and this one is VA VB VC and VD and we will need the factor of the result this one is 60 and this one is minus 90 this one is 0 this one is 300 so let's name this matrix as matrix A and this matrix is matrix B so what we need to do is 
this matrix is V is the inverse of A multiplied by B and we can calculate this in MATLAB let me calculate it for you and I will write the result here so my calculation in MATLAB resulted in this value for VA VB VC and VD it is this matrix it is minus 10.5 Five six and for VB it's twenty point five 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 six and then for VC it's one point three eight eight nine and for VD it's minus forty three point seventy five and the unit of this is fault and this is our final answer. Thank you for watching and let me know if you find any mistake in my calculation. Thank you.